Hello, today we are going to solve a Lego Saturn reset problem. I have this printer for around a half a year and what it does, it's printing and then it stops and I get the home screen and I have to reset everything, uh, take, take, out the, take out the bolt plate, clean the part, uh, take out the part, clean everything, reset it, start again and there is no guarantee that it will not going to do again. So in today's video, we are going to solve the Lego Saturn reset problem and maybe this problem also is occurring to the other printers. So, let's do it! One day I said enough is enough and I have to solve this problem. I am an electronics engineer, I should be able to do it. So I start probing and this is what I get. Uh, this is a processor uh, 3.3 volt line and FPGA and the screen. So this is a ground and uh, I get this dip and I say, yes, I found the problem, why is reset, why is resetting? And it usually reset on, on the move. So what I did, I changed every power supply, I isolate the power supply with a traco, uh, traco power isolation uh, power module and it still does this thing when it dips. Okay, so next one. Uh, so this is a quite, it's, it's 20 microsecond. Then I zoomed in a bit, and uh, this is what I see. Uh, again, this is a now it's two, uh, one volt for uh, one volt for division, so it's three, three point three, and so everything is good, 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 bang. So it is a very energetic event, and uh, it 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 completely it started to bugs me because you cannot get this this uh, this waveform. With a short of anything, maybe motor can do it, but no. And I was moving a motor a bolt plate up and down, and then it clicked, and it clicked literally in a also in my head, and I immediately know what's the problem. What happens when this bolt plate is going up and it's peeling? It it's generating um, charge, and charge go uh, goes to the bolt plate and maybe electronics or stays on the film, or I don't know where it goes, and. Uh, this uh, this power supply does have ground uh, earth connected to the ground or zero wire let's say zero volt wire but it's not connected to the case and this is the problem so what happens what I what I, at least I'm thinking uh, plate is separating it's generating uh, a, a lot of a lot of charge it's even in the dielectric uh, material so it's quite a high capacity and uh, uh, there is a, a small small distance between uh, the processor or or zero uh, or a processor ground between n case, and it sparks. And when it sparks, it generates this 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 kind of uh, this kind of uh, waveform on everything. So look at this. This is now two volts for division, and it's going good 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 bam, and it's uh, it's uh, uh, oscillating. And it does at 10 megahertz, so it's quite high frequency. And look at this, it's railing. So there, is, there are body diodes inside of every chip, and we have some some can absorb the usually for the uh, for the this kind of event to pr pr protect the processor. So it's more than 6.6 .6 volts, and it's more, uh, below the ground uh, few volts, maybe 0 0.6. So it's a body diode uh, drop voltage, and in this one. Maybe it's like TBS, so it's like Zener, it's clamping, uh, clamping uh, over voltage. So, yeah, what you have to do, it's simply to, to connect a, a barrel jack ground uh, to the case or USB ground, uh, solder U, uh, uh, wire on the USB plug and uh, screw it to the ground. And that's it. Your printer will be, will be working as it should. So, Elegoo is informed about this, we are quite happy. And uh, so everyone should do this, uh, do this simple trick to make this printer better. All you have to do is remove the, these two screws, solder wire, and there is a, a, a M3 volt, and you can uh, with, a, with a clip um, screw it to the uh, to the to the case, and that's it. Or you can do it like me, and you can install power supply as well as true ground to the case. Okay, so let's go to see uh, a quick, uh, quick demo and uh, to see how bad it is. 
at least the my printer. Let's reproduce this error. All you have, well, all I have to do is go to the manual and uh, go to the home. I did not get any noise, so everything is fine. Let's try again. No, it's gone. So it's gone to reset and go to the home screen. Yep, you see? Unresponsive. Yeah? What happens? I'm printing and I'm come back and I get home screen. So that's very, very annoying. So you have to take out the part, clean it, and reset everything and start again.